First reading, a reading from the book of Prophet Ezekiel, chapter 33, verses 7 to 9. So you mortal, I have made a sentinel for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. If I say to the wicked, O wicked ones, you shall surely die, and you do not speak to warn the wicked to turn from their ways, the wicked shall die in their iniquity but their blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked to turn from their ways, and they do not turn from their ways, the wicked shall die in their iniquity. but you will have saved your life. The Word of the Lord Second reading A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Romans, chapter 13, verses 8 to 10. O no one anything, except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore, Love is the fulfilling of the law. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 18, verses 15 to 20. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, Amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth, about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today in the Gospel we have a very strange teaching from Jesus. Uh, Jesus is trying to uh, give us a remedy or a method to resolve conflicts and uh, he gives few steps. First of all, just to talk with your brother, if he is not listening, then you go with another one or if that is also not working, bring him in front of the church or the community and so forth. But uh, the very interesting to see the final uh, decision of Jesus. Jesus would say, when, when all that fails, treat him like a, a tax collector or a pagan. When we read this, my dear friends, uh, we understand uh, or we tend to think that Jesus is telling regard, disregard our brother and the failure of uh, resolving a conflict. But if we really understand the word of Jesus, we understand it is not the case. In fact, it is the opposite because, my dear friends, we need to uh, think about the brother that who has offended us and who would not try to accept that. About that brother, we need to think or we need to look at him through the eyes of Jesus. How Jesus looked at a tax collector. 
how Jesus would look at a pagan with the love and compassion he had throughout his life when he met, came across such people in his life. So, if we are to follow his example, if we are to obey his teachings, we also should do the same. That means, until your brother is turned, until your uh, brother is saved from sin, you need to work. It is your responsibility, it is our responsibility to take care of our brothers and sisters. Therefore, Christian discipleship is always a responsible Christian life. We need to be responsible for the salvation of my brother and sister. Therefore, let us ask the good Lord to bless all of us to understand this basic fact and uh, give us the power to do everything in our, uh, in our capacity to help our brothers and sisters in need.